Hey, welcome to the Weld School page. Today we're uh, doing a little uh, cast aluminum repair. This is a mud plate for a boat dock, which sits at the bottom of a lake. You can see that it's uh, obviously seen better days uh, with the wear on it, but this was actually pulled out and it was uh, frozen ground. And when they lifted up the dock, it snapped off. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick repair on this. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, a lot of people get brightened by castings and it, it's really not a big deal. Uh, you're not going to get the cleanest welds. I mean, you can do your best to clean it up, uh, but nothing to fear. Uh, so what I what I got is some 4043 aluminum filler rod. That is the repair rod that you want to use. Uh, go ahead and take some time cleaning it up. I have access to a sandblaster, so I hit it with a sandblaster, and then I went ahead and hit it with a flap disc, and then a wire brush as well you could probably wipe it down with acetone I, I didn't take that step i probably could have um i have one of those temple sticks at 200 degrees fahrenheit so i'm just going to bring the plate up to about 200 degrees uh, just because it's aluminum and it does uh in expand and contract a little bit more than something like steel so just bring it up a little bit just a little bit of heat throw it into the plate wipe the temple stick on there and once it melts you know that you're at your 200 degrees I'm going to go ahead and put a, about four tacks on this, two on the top, two on the bottom. I tried to secure that piece in as tight as I possibly could. And then go ahead and just start to make your welds. You know, with any casting, there's going to be impurities in there. So, you know, those will get brought to the surface a little bit. Uh, I tried to run this pretty hot uh, just to try to pull everything out but also trying to get that penetration, trying to get as much to, to, you know, full penetration as I possibly could to help ensure that it doesn't crack again down the road. But uh, I went ahead, wrapped around this top piece. It was locked into place really good. So just do your fillet weld. Once I was done with the top, I just flipped it over and the bottom. So the bottom, it was a square shape, but it had cracks that extended off of two of the corners of that square. Uh, they only ran out maybe three quarters of an inch or so. Uh, it wasn't too far. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping that square first and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill the cracks that extended out. If I were to leave those cracks, it's it's eventually, you know, it's gonna it's gonna crack again down the road. So you want to make sure you you find all the cracks in there, um, even the tiniest ones. Uh, they will grow over time, especially with this thing, you know, under pressure of the dock, waves hitting the dock and moving it a little bit. So you really want to ensure that everything is totally repaired. So you know, make sure you you really look closely. And then here I'm just extending off those sides to fill it. So my next step is, once I have all of that welded, I'm actually gonna grind it down to flush. And I'm gonna look to see if I found all of the crack. And what I really did is I mixed the base metal with the 4043 aluminum. And then I, you know, once I ground it down, now I have a base that's a mixture and then I just re-welded it and it came out a lot cleaner and a lot nicer because it was a mixture. Um, I did not do that on the top, I just left that. It doesn't look that pretty in the pictures, but it turned out fine. You know, you're gonna bring up the junk right out of that casting, but overall quick, easy 10 minute repair. Uh, don't fear this stuff, give it a shot. It's not all that bad. 